Meanwhile, the search for Brian Laundry is once again catering or centering on the Carlton Reserve in Sarasota County. And that's where ABC Action News reporter Julie Solomon leads off our live team coverage tonight. And Julie, the search wrapped up for the day just a few hours ago, right? Northport police concluded the search around 7 o'clock tonight. They added they plan to be back out here tomorrow. They also said they did not find anything today and pointed out that this search can be difficult at times with nearly 75% of the preserve underwater. The FBI announcing Tuesday the human remains discovered over the weekend near Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming belong to Gabby Petito. The 22-year-old was reported missing by her family earlier this month while on a road trip out west with her fiancé, Brian Laundrie. The FBI says the initial determination for the manner of death is homicide. The cause of death is not being released at this time, pending final autopsy results. Because you're going to see the, the, the trail when you get there. The search for laundry continues. The FBI says he remains a person of interest. Numerous law enforcement agencies searching the Carlton Reserve, a nearly 25,000 acre preserve in Sarasota County. Not the easiest of searches. It is prime habitat for alligators and snakes. Terrain is very difficult. Um, essentially, 75% of it's underwater. Um, and other areas uh, that are dry, we're trying to clear. The FBI is taking over the investigation and is now the lead agency. Northport police searched a different area of the preserve over the weekend, but did not search the park Monday. Operations resumed the following day. Northport police say officers started searching the preserve after Laundry's parents reported him missing nearly a week ago, saying he went on a hike. Authorities using ATVs and drones with advanced technology to reach difficult areas of the preserve. We also have uh, partners with the Lee County Sheriff's Office with uh, drones that operate at a higher altitude that has uh, more advanced technology to zoom in and to see uh, areas that are difficult to access um, on foot or wheeled vehicles as well. Again, authorities are expected to be back out at the preserve tomorrow. Anyone with any information regarding this case is asked to contact the FBI. Reporting live in Venice tonight, Julie Salmon, ABC Action News.